Hey guys, this is the Nation Bell. So it's actually been a while working on tutorials. It's been almost like about two months now. I must say I have actually been so much tired with a lot of things on my side. But the good thing is I'm back and I have a couple of tutorials that I want to share with you in this coming day. So in this particular tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to put carousels in layout grid in WYSIBIG Web Builder. So getting started, by default when you come to the car um the toolbox and you search for a carousel so let me just search for a carousel in here and then also come back here and search for the layout grid 2 so let me just search for layout grid 2 and then drag that onto the canvas now when i try to move this into the um layout grid there's no way it's going to work so the reason is because it's actually seeing this carousel in a form of um, I should say a layer. So then you know layers don't work in um, layout grid. So what I can do is let me just go ahead and then change this option to a floating. Now once I change it into floating, it's going to adopt the fluid property, which is going to make it be able to work with the layout grid, but it still can't get or fit into the layout grid. Now that's one sad in um, sad thing in there. But you can actually have your layout grid being placed in the carousel. And it will work just fine so you can go to the next um, slide you realize it's not here but that's not the purpose of this particular tutorial the tutorial is to be able to have this carousel in the layout grid so let's take a look at how to go about that now there, there are a couple of ways you can go about this um, you can actually go about it using an inline frame or you can also go about it using the um, object that is embed object so i'm going to actually do this in the form of using the embed object so to continue i'm going to come to my site manager and then duplicate this page now once i have this page duplicated let me just come to page one and then let's say this is carousel and then i'm going to come back to my index page and then i'm going to delete my carousel from here now i can come back to my um, carousel and delete the um, layout grid in here i can decide to leave this with a fluid property or i can go ahead and then change this back to the normal um, carousel I would have had in here. So once I'm done, I'll come back to the index page, which contains my um, layout grid in here. What I'm going to do next is double click on this and configure some few um, options in here. So I'm going to change maybe my pattern to the top to let's say 20. Pattern to the bottom is also going to about 20. And then this is going to be fluid. And uh, let me just leave, uh, take away. Let me click on OK come back here and then take away one of the columns in here. So let me just get rid of this column and then click on OK. Now I'm going to come to the toolbox and then search for the embedded um, object in here. So I'll click on this. I'll drag that in here and then I'm going to double click on this. So this is basically going to allow me to select the page which I want to embed in here. In this case, I'm going to select the carousel page. I'll go ahead and then click on OK and then I'm going to move this into the carousel now you see the funny thing you realize this is actually working so once i have this done i can go ahead and then take a look at a preview in the browser so let me just hit on preview and then you realize this is actually working now the reason why it's stretched is because i have this layout grid um, with a default option i don't have any maximum width set in here so i can change this to let's say 960 and then once i click on ok and preview it it's going to restrict the size to 960 so that's one way you can go about having your um, carousel being embedded or placed in the um, layout grid in visible web builder so let me just come back to this page and then change some few things in here maybe i might want to change the color of this particular slide to let's say blue and then change the last one to maybe let's say red uh, let me just select red and then go ahead and then let me just select red go ahead and then preview this in the browser again so once i come here preview this realize i have blue when i come to this one realize i have my red one in here so that's um how i'd wanted to show you how to go about this particular uh, process in wizard builder so going forward if you've got any kind of tutorials that you want me to work on or record kindly drop it in the comment section or you could also send me an email to um, info at and i'll try my possible best to work on them for you Thank you very much for watching this video. In case you are new and you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do well to hit on the subscribe button as well as turn on the notification so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.